Hey guys, Savage Out here. Today we are going to do a tutorial for simple cat modeling. We are going to use Fusion 360. It is a cloud-based cat software that you could get personal use license for free. I use other cat software like AutoCAD, Inventor, and Creo in a daily basis. But I personally think Fusion 360 is one of the most user-friendly one for beginners. Unfortunately, I just start my pollen allergy this year, so you may well hear a lot of pause and voice change throughout the video. But anyways, let's get started. There are many different types of CAD files that you can find online. Most common ones for 3D printing are STL and 3MF files. STEP file is a lot more powerful than the other two. Sometimes you will find files like F3D and other types. First, let's import STL file into the Fusion 360. Select File from the top left corner. Select Open from the drop down menu. Select Open from a computer on a new window. Now we can open files from our computer. Select the file that you want to open and click Open. Then we'll see this import file showing in our working area. However, you will see the import model is constructed by many triangles. Expand the browser tree on the left. We'll see the model on the bodies named Mesh. Yes, STL file will only import Mesh model instead of solid model. Mesh model is a lot harder to work and a lot harder to make modify. So we want to convert mesh model to a solid model before we start doing anything. Now let's change the mesh to menu as shown. Select modify to group. On the drop down menu, select convert mesh. A window appears on the right. Select the model we want to convert if necessary. Leave the mirth setting as default. Click OK. You will see the model has some kind of appearance change, but it still looks like constrained by many triangles. Look at the browser tree right now on the left. Under bodies, mesh body now is changed to solid body. You will see the symbol change before the body's name. Now we could start making modify on the solid body. Change the two panel to the solid. The basic working flow is that you first create sketch on the surface, and then use different type of tool to convert the sketch to a solid model. This model still looks a bit messy to work with, so let's work with a different models. As mentioned earlier, there are other types of CAD file that you can find online. STEP step file is another most common one. Step files will record solid model data from different CAD software, and it is interchangeable between different types of CAD software. Let's first close this window and open the step file. I will attach this file on the description so you can download for free. Open the download file from the computer. This time, you'll see this model that we just opened from the step file. Looks like solid constructed. It looks like a toolbox. I actually designed this one toolbox back in two months. It is for S um, Solver S306. Today, we're going to use that as a demo to do some practice. As you can see, we can select surface, edges, and other features a lot easier. But before we start doing anything, Let's go browser tree on the left. Locate your mouse above document setting. Right click and select capture the design history on the bottom of the drop down menu. We'll see a toolbar appears on the bottom of a working area. This feature allows software to record any modify we made and enable us to quick change or delete the feature that we don't want. Before we start next step, I want to confirm your operation setting is the same with mine. Otherwise, the hotkey will be different. Select the icon on the right upper corner. Click the head image and select Preference 
on the drop down menu. Make sure your preference control in general UI behavior same as mine, especially these three options. Change the setting if necessary. Hit OK to save the change. Let's quickly go through the basic control operation. The left click of a mouse is selecting stuff. Right click will call a feature menu as shown. The roller is using to zoom in and out for the review on the walking area. Press down and holding roller allows you to pan the walking area. Or you can select this little hand here to pan around the walking review. If we press down the roller and shift key on the keyboard at the same time, we are able to review a model from different angle. The review will orbit around the mouse where it locates at. We can also change the orientation from the square right upper corner of the walking area. Click on a different surface will change the review. Holding the mouse and left click will allow you to orbit as shown. Now let's get started modeling these two holders. Select the surface by left click and select Create Sketch from Create Working Group. Working surface is highlighted. We will see a sketch panel appears on the right of the working area. Change the setting as shown if necessary. Also notice that the solid tool panel on top is also changed to sketch tool panel. By moving the mouse on top of tools, it will show the tool's name. There are also more tools on the create dropdown menu. Let's select line. You'll see the mouse icon change. Now we can draw lines on the highlight working surface. Left click to place the first sketch point of the line. Notice that number highlight and brood change accordingly. We can type a number on the keyboard to get the length that we want as shown. We can also change the length input to the angle input by click tap on the keyboard. Notice that the highlight brood is changed to the angle tab right now. Input degrees on the keyboard. Left click mouse to confirm a line join. We'll see a line create on the working surface but a new line will automatically generate from next location. When the line meets each other to form a closed shape, the continue line will automatically stop. We could draw a line in a new location. Cancel a line join by hit the exit on the keyboard. We can also use other join tool as shown. Select fillet on the Modify Tool menu. This tool allows you to run the sharp edges. Notice that a scissor icon is next to the fillet feature. It allows you to cut the line that we don't need on the drawing. Now let's say we already finished sketch. We can select Finish Sketch on the right side of the working area.
or select Finish Sketch on the tool menu above. Now we will see a line and shape that we just sketched on the surface. Next step is turning this line into a solid model. Select Extruder on the Modify Tool menu. Extruder is one of the most commonly used tool in 3D modeling. Moving the mouse on the drawing surface, notice that only closed shape will be highlighted. Left click and select the shape that we want. We can select multiple shape at once. Select unwanted shape one more time or deselect it. After selecting the feature that we want, notice that there is one arrow appears on the last shape that we selected. Left click and holding the arrow, dragging it up and down. Notice that we are dragging it up, the new shape creates as a new body. When we're dragging it down, it interface with the existing body, it will automatically change the cut feature. We can change this operation throughout the menu rotate on the right side of the working area. Also notice that the number input window is highlighted. We could input number on the keyboard, select, <coughs> select OK to confirm the operation. Notice that the shape is cutting on the surface. We can select Fillet feature on the Modify Tool menu to run the edges. Select OK to confirm the operation. Notice that design history on the bottom of the working area, recording every single operation that we made to this model. Now we can edit or delete the feature that we made to change the model. Also, it is worth to mention that general windows command Control Z for return and Control Y for forward. It's working in Fusion 360 as well. Now let's take a look of a quick demonstration of my regular working flow. I can also rest my voice a bit. Alright, everything looks nice. We can save the design file by click File on here. Select Save on the drop down menu. It is also recommended that to save a file occasionally during the design process. Sometimes a specific feature will cause software crash. Now we can export the file. Click File. Select 3D print on the drop down menu. We can select the body from working area to export. If you want to export the entire thing, you can click bodies on the browser tree. 
Notice a window appears on the right. Uncheck the Send to 3D Print Utility box and click OK. Save the file whatever you want and click OK. Now let's move to Slicer. Import the STL file that we just export on the computer. Everything looks OK and we're good to go. Alright guys, that's it for today. If you have any comment, thought, please leave in the comment section below. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. I will start a brand new series to show you guys how to do the basic 3D modeling on Fusion 360. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.